Welcome back ladies and brave gentlemen to another episode of Life Advice You Don't Hear in Church. And this video is a response to a question I got on Instagram that I thought was a great question. So if you haven't noticed, I've moved a lot of my ministry onto Instagram and email lists currently, just because I haven't had as much time to film videos. You can get the links for those down below. So I'm talking on Instagram this week about how when James and I first got together, I thought romance meant like this magical mind reading, you know? So we had one of our first Valentine's dates together. We were on the beach in Florida and it was in the middle of a work trip for both of us. And we were, I was like, this sounds so romantic, but it doesn't feel romantic. It feels thrown together last minute and we're in a beautiful place, but it doesn't feel romantic. And I realized like, I expected James to read my mind, to just magically know that I wanted flowers and a card and a fancy dinner that he made reservations for two weeks in advance, you know? And James, like, his family wasn't really big on Hallmark holidays, and so to him it's like, why is this a big deal? He didn't really think anything of it. And I realized, like, romance isn't like the movies where they just read your mind. Instead, romance in a marriage is about each of you being honest and having those honest conversations about what do I love? What do I desire? What makes me feel loved and romanced? And sharing that. And at first I thought that sounds like the most unromantic thing in the world, right? To say like, I need to share what I'm being, what makes me feel romanced. Like can't you just figure it out? But I realized like I need to share this with James and I did. And because he loves me and wants me to feel romanced, he started incorporating some of those things in our relationship. And so I do feel romanced. So all that to say, that was what my Instagram post was about. You can go read more about it. And someone left a comment on my post saying, I tried sharing this with my significant other and the conversation did not go well. How would you recommend sharing something like this? Great question. Let's talk about it. Usually if I have constructive feedback for James or him with me, he's much better about this than I am, but I try to say like, hey, could we talk about something when you have the brain space to process this? So I'm not just like launching this grenade attack or throwing it at him, but it's like he's prepared, he has the brain space, he has the energy to have the conversation. And then I try to use the sandwich method when we you know, find a time, might not be the same day, whenever it is, we sit down and I try to use the sandwich method. So the first part saying what I love that he's already doing. So noticing like, thank you so much that we went to Florida for, our, for Valentine's Day. That was such a special idea. And I loved just being on the beach in that beautiful place. And then saying, you know, there's some things though that would make me feel so romanced because sometimes I don't feel like these desires are being seen and there's no way that you'd even know this. Like you're not a mind reader. No person is a mind reader, but here's what would make me feel so loved. If you bought me flowers and wrote me this sweet card and took me out to dinner and plans it ahead of time. And you know, anytime you share that feedback with somebody, it can feel like a little bit like defensive. Like, whoa, well, how am I supposed to know that? So that's why you want to do it in the kindest way you can. And then I'd say, is there anything I can do for you? Are there any ways where you would feel more romanced if I did something specific for you? What makes you feel loved? So it's this two-sided dialogue. Instead of just about me, it's about both of you. And the final thing I'd say is just thanking them for taking the time to talk. And again, reiterating Oreo method, right? You got compliment, <laughs> the hard part, another compliment, not, not fake flattery where you make something up, but like something you genuinely appreciate. Like, I just really appreciate that you're willing to have these hard conversations with me. I know like this is a lot to talk about, or I really appreciate how much you love me and that you're willing to go out of your way to help me feel loved. Just some ways that they know like you love them and there's that connection there. So that's what I'd recommend. You find a time to do it when you both have energy and then you use the Oreo method. Comment below what helps you work through tough conversations like this. Love you guys, and here's to being romanced, not in the Hollywood sense, but in the real life sense of honesty and learning about each other and growing together. Love you guys, see you on Instagram and my email list and occasional videos here.